A new week, a new Tory culture war. This time, it's that old favourite, the BBC, coming under attack. Current Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser has penned this article for The Telegraph. She calls for the BBC to be held to the highest standards because that's what licence fee payers expect. But what standards is the BBC failing to meet? According to Fraser, the broadcaster just isn't impartial enough. On Sky News, she tried to justify that claim. Do you think the BBC is biased? Well... I am looking at this uh, from the point of view of the culture secretary. Yeah, and, that's uh, why I'm asking you. And, so uh, do you think they're biased? And the evidence shows that there is a perception of bias but, in relation to the BBC. what do you think? Do you think, as culture secretary, that the BBC is biased? I think that on occasion it has been biased, yes. In relation and I to think, what? Well, um, this report isn't about incidents, but we have seen recently that uh, it's had to apologise for its own reporting, for example, in relation to um, the attack in the hospital uh, in Israel, so in, in it's Gaza. It's the difference between mistake and bias, surely. Well, uh, there, is a, there, there is a perception amongst uh, the public that the BBC is biased, and as culture secretary, it's important that I look at that. I must say, these are issues that I have discussed with the BBC. They've taken on board... Yeah, but I'm asking you about the evidence of bias. Where's the evidence? The evidence of bias is what audiences believe is the content of the BBC and that's how they... that's perception, that's not evidence. That's yes. perception. That is evidence. That is evidence. That is evidence. Impartiality is about perception of, um, of the things that are being broadcast by the BBC. And the evidence in relation to that perception is that... Um, perception and evidence is, are different things. The evidence from Ofcom, having done studies and questionnaires of the public, is that um, the BBC's um, ratings in relation to impartiality have gone down. And I and the BBC think that there is more that the BBC can do in order to improve that. Very, very embarrassing. My favourite bit about that, though, politicians do this all the time, where sort of they get asked a different question. They say, well, I am here as the culture secretary. Keir Starmer does it a lot. Well, I am speaking to you here as the leader of the opposition. I am speaking to you as someone who wants to be in government. I am speaking to you here in the Sky News studios. <laughs> yes, you got, you got, I am sitting here in front of a blue wall Right, just sort of describing anything um, other than what your position is when it comes to the question at hand. Um, Ash, how do you think the culture secretary handled that line of questioning? I think she did exceptionally well. It was, I think, some of the <laughs> best pieces of like fine art clowning that I've ever seen in my life. It's like she trained at Lecoq. Just absolutely nothing was making sense. She was completely flailing around. And that takes decades of training to be that ridiculous in public and not shrivel up and die. So well done, Lucy Fraser. I mean, I think what this speaks to is the, you know, we really are at the dregs of the Conservative Party. Rishi Sunak would get an old boot to be in his cabinet because he's really out of options. So here's someone who doesn't know the brief, doesn't even have a single piece of evidence to their name, can't even pick an obvious anecdote. She can't even sort of, you know, do what Pretty Patel or Suella Braverman in their heyday would have done, which is say, well, you know, look at what Gary Lineker's done. She's just going, there's a perception of impartiality. She can't even pick up, you know, a previous example of a Tory confected culture war row. So I don't know. I don't know what happened to Lucy Fraser. I like to think that she's a highly trained clown rather than just someone who, you know, wandered in a bit confused from the street and then Rishi Sunak made them culture minister.